So I'm going to just start out because, again, because of the amount of weight that she's driving into that shoulder, I'd like to be sure that she wasn't sore in through the shoulder in here. And what do you think? I think she's a little bit reactive to that. All right, I'm not going to go any further. I, mean, I can just go to the other side and, and compare the two sides. And you see, I can squeeze, I can come through that and follow down through that bicipital tendon area with no problem at all. Now this doesn't mean that she's got a serious tear or anything else there, but it says she's sure straining herself up in that shoulder. And then I want to look, <laughs> if I can find the spine of the scapula here, I want to get into the suprascapular area. And I don't know that these are name points, but right in here is about where that long head of that suprascapular inserts here. And so uh, we've got some reactivity there too. So that's the first place that I would be concerned about. I'd certainly still want a hoof tester on there. And the other thing that happens to us, we see something, we grab onto it, that's our diagnosis. Well, there may be two things, three things going on as well. So one of the things that we need to make sure that we do here is to go in and palpate I want to take a look at the feet here. I'm not getting a lot of heel sensitivity or anything there. That's not any, the equivalent of doing a hoof tester at all. I don't know where he is in the shoeing cycle, but we need more heel support. And I'm just going to go through and palpate the suspensory and the tendons here. Now, when I'm checking for a suspensory, you can push on a suspensory and get no reaction at all. But if you lift that suspensory and put a little tension on it, you can see that you're getting pretty reactive there. 